Hi there, welcome to the video. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the Sonoff Zigbee temperature and humidity sensor. So I purchased these uh, temperature and humidity sensors. I've got several now uh, myself, but they are available on the ITIAD uh, website, itead.cc. And if you have a look in the video description below, you will find a link in there to it and a uh, discount link as well to give you some money off. Um, currently on the screen, they're looking like $12.99. Obviously, you can get free shipping on there if you spend over $89. But of course, they are available from other places as well. This is what's on Amazon UK at the moment. But normally, you will find that these are more expensive uh, than on the IT EAD website. But the choice is yours where you want to order them from and obviously put i'll put a link to the uh, amazon page in the description below as well but just to let you know that i do get uh, a commission if you decide to buy something within 24 hours of clicking that link so what sort of features has the temperature sensor got well it's supposed to have a 400 foot uh, clear line of sight kind of coverage it's obviously running zigbee so low power and the batteries on board should last about two years now the value should update about every five seconds there's a two and a half inch uh, diagonal display and there is a um, centigrade and fahrenheit switch if you want to swap between them and the uh, sensor will actually measure from minus 10 to plus 60 degrees celsius with humidity values uh, ranging from 5% to 95%. Some more features. Yeah, so it works with um, ALEXA, as they say, and it works with Google Home. It also works with Home Assistant, and we'll look at all those very soon, except for Google Home, because I haven't got one of those. Um, works with uh, EWI Link app, and from that you can actually get app alerts if the temperature um, goes high or low etc and within that app you can also download uh, your sort of temperature and humidity data in CSV format as well so this is the Sonoff temperature and humidity sensor this is the box that it comes in When you get it out, you get a little user manual as well. Quite a few details in here. This user manual is available online on their website as well, just in case you lose it or you want to zoom in a little bit because the writing's a little bit small. And then when you open it up, get it out of the box, you will see straight away there's a 3M sticker on the back, uh, quite a large one. And then here we have the actual item itself on the screen on the front it's got a protective film on it so you could peel that off and you will see a little black line um, along the bottom that's quite normal on each one and the great thing about this is there's loads of different ways to set this up so it's magnetized to the back of the stand so you can either position that and stick that somewhere and have it clip back onto the wall or if you want to move it around to a different room you just take it off and then pull down the stand and then you can have the stand just sitting up like that so that is a really good idea so what have we got on the back here well we've got a screw here to open the back up to change the battery and obviously when you get it the battery is not operational uh, because it's got the little tab in the way you need to pull that out we'll do that in a second and then you've got the single button on the back that is the button where you change uh, from fahrenheit to celsius or vice versa and you also need to press that down for five seconds in order to enable the pairing okay so what we'll do is we'll just pull the back of this off gently otherwise it can rip the whole back of the unit off turn it over and you'll see then the temperature on the top and the humidity percentage on the bottom we've now got a battery readout on the top as well and i will just pull off the film there we go and it's not tied up to anything at the moment so the great thing about this is that you can actually just use it as it is 
I mean, if you don't have to put this on an app, you don't have to remotely see what the values are, record them, but it's nice to. So if you don't want to have the app, you can just have this as a visual aid, really, and have it standing on the sideboard in any room or or stuck to the uh, the wall if you want to via the sticker. It's totally up to you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in pairing mode and we're going to get it onto the ewe link app so we just take the back off as i said before find the button hold it down for five seconds and when you turn it over you should be able to see a flashing uh, sensor on the top there showing that it's in pairing mode so i've opened up the ewe link app and as this is a zigbee device i've got the zigbee bridge pro in here so i'm going to tap on that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to set, add a sub device on here as well so i'm going to add my device and then it's going to try and find my device just got to make sure the unit is in pairing mode again and it's not turned itself out of off or out of pairing mode okay so it's found the device and believe it or not the hub is nowhere near me it's actually downstairs and i'm upstairs so let's go to next so here we are the sn zb o2d 24.4 degrees celsius matches up with the readout and 44.6 percent humidity so if I tap on that now, I get it up in a bigger font and then I get the graphing. I can move along the graph with my finger as well. Move that up and down. Click on the history and I've got graphs for the humidity at the bottom and the temperature at the top. Got the last seven days, the month or the half year because data is held for six months. You can also download your data as well with the uh, downward arrow in the top right hand corner so you can download that before it disappears or download it in a regular on a regular occasion if you want to if i come back out again I should now see it on the home screen as well so i don't need to zoom in or go into the bridge page in order to see the sub device i can just see it on the uh, on the top screen there whenever i want to look at it so there's loads of other things we can do with it as well uh, we can create kind of scenes um, and we can uh, if then if then and else so we can do lots of different things with it uh, depending on the temperature that sort of thing so on here we can say the temperature is greater than less than or you know within the uh, comfort ranges as set in the instruction manual relative humidity same thing again if it's damp or dry we can alert myself or trigger something else to come on or turn off etc etc so that's a quick look at the ewe link app and next we'll have a look at moving it into amazon so moving on to the alexa app now we're going to add a device find devices starting discovery this will take a few moments. Turn on your new devices now, and if needed, put them in pairing mode. So it's now found the device. I'm just going to refresh this. And there it is. Now, I didn't go in and actually add a device here. I just asked ALEXA to do it for me. And now if I tap on there, nothing happens. <laughs> So clicking on the thermometer link doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the ewe link app. So I just go into the device settings of the thermometer. You could probably do this in anything. You can see there has got third party platforms. So I'm going to click on the ALEXA uh, option. And then basically what I'm going to choose is link now and then link again. I thought I'd already done this, but it must have just not 
happened the first time so i'm going to just choose that option again to link it up and then it should just link up between the two and it says account link now so that's good so i'm just going to go back into the app now and check that it works ah there we go so we're getting the current temperature out now can't see the humidity anywhere so i don't know if that's hidden for some reason um, but i can't see the humidity all I can really do in here is enable or disable it and it's calling it a temperature sensor of type um, and I can edit the name as well if I want to. Now what's the temperature of my temp sensor? The temp sensor temperature is 24.2 degrees. Right, so that's everything done with the uh, EWE Link app and the uh, Amazon app. I'm going to now move on to Home Assistant. So I'm in Home Assistant now, and I'm just going to go to Devices and Services. I've already got my uh, Zigbee Home or ZHA automation set up, so I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to go to Add Device. And that's looking for the item. So I'm going to put that in pairing mode. And it's found it. It's just configuring it now. Initializing and now it's ready. And you can choose an area of where you want to put it and you'll define areas. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to call it, keep to that device name, and we're ready to go. So if I go back, I should now see it. Here it is here. If I click into it, then we've got the humidity, the temperature, and the battery percentage as well. So lots of things to play with. If we move over to developer tool and look for the state, So here are our attributes. Obviously, we've got the identify, we've got the battery, currently 100. You can a unit of measurement percentage, and then the humidity and the temperature are separate entities. Then if we just create a couple of cards, so I'm just going to create a couple of gauges just to show you what it looks like or what it could look like in Home Assistant. So just adding the humidity in here. So I've added the temperature and the humidity. But do remember a zigbee device can only be paired with one item so even though you saw me pair it to the uh, sonoff app or the ewe link app and um, alexa app uh, once i'd repaired it to home assistant it then disappeared from the other two apps so that's it for the video um, i hope you enjoyed it um, I really do quite like these temperature and humidity sensors. Now, Sonoff do make uh, just a normal kind of blank box smaller one. Uh, and they're great, really, I suppose, if you want to hide those away somewhere and you're not worried about the kind of visual readout. Um, but to be honest, um, these were actually only a couple of pounds more than the other ones. So I thought I'd go for these anyway, and then you can always move them around or actually view them if you're in that room at the same time as well. So I think they are pretty good. So they've been useful so far. I haven't really triggered anything with them or haven't needed to. I just wanted to see what the temperature was in kind of each room. I've bought about seven or eight of them so far. Um, they seem to be working quite well. Zigbee's only kind of lost the odd uh, value, but then it seems to come back again. But it could be just to, you know, due to distance or something like that. Uh, yeah, so they're pretty good. Um, I've got absolutely no complaints about them so far. You obviously, saw, you saw in the video that I joined them to the Amazon app. I've joined them to the EWE e link, and I've also added them to Home Assistant. Um, so there's uh, loads of different ways that you can display the data in Home Assistant as well. Right, thanks for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, and don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to become a subscriber and subscribe to the channel uh, if you are not already a subscriber. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.